goodness. There it is. I see her. Woo! <laughs> there it is. Look at that thing. The newest boat. Oh. What do you think, Jameson? Let's get out. <laughs> Check her out. We made it. Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. First time seeing it, folks. Very, very manageable. Holy shit, okay. Wow. Needs a good cleaning. Oh my gosh. Sea Ray 38 SS. I might put my flip flops on. Let's check out the drives. Oh yeah. Buddy, the brown eyed girls, Port of St. Louis. Guys, welcome to the newest purchase of Making Motor Moves 1992 Sea Ray 38SS. This boat is huge. Wow. Ready to go swimming, boys. Are you? Oh, yeah. There's Georgie. The reason why we we're taking the boat off this trailer is because we're swapping it to a different boat trailer. Yeah. So this white trailer here that the boat is on, he is keeping, and we are putting this boat on the black oh, trailer yeah. that Ben and I brought down Not from bad, buddy. Iowa down here. So this is us. It's an exciting day. Oh man, you know the rules, no shoes. There's the cover. I'd say she needs to be cleaned a little bit, Billy. Yeah, we'll get there. But that's right, we will get there. Oh. Oh boy, it just needs to be TLC. deep cleaned. Wow. Wow. I can stand down here. <laughs> Look at the microwave, TV. Yep. Clean, clean, clean. Wow. This is insane. We are gonna take this from sitting for 10 years to a beautiful 38 foot sport yacht. I'm excited. Okay, we got the tires aired up on this Black Thunder trailer that doesn't come with the boat. It's too big. I think it's like 10 feet too long. And we're gonna go put it on our trailer that we fixed up. But, oh my gosh. This is a vesicle, boys. Yes, sir. She's a little rough on the inside, but that is why we're getting this deal. So we get her taken care of. What do you think, Jameson? You like the new boat? Do you? You like it? Alright, right now we are at the ramp. George and Phil are staging back there and I'm in the truck making sure the truck doesn't go anywhere. But we're about to swap the boat onto our trailer there and get it off of the owner's trailer. So I think the boys are about to tell me we're good to go. They're gonna go hop in the water and hold the boat out there because we have no dock. And then I gotta get this trailer out of here and then hook up to the other one and then back that one in and get the boat set on it and see how she fits. But whew, this is a big boat.
I think we're about all hooked up right now. It looks like the boys have it secured in the bowel. Rest catcher that we got. Sounds like George is adjusting the catcher a little bit so it sits better. But this is the first time we put this boat on this trailer that we made for it. Phil's giving me the signal. We're about to pull it out of the water. Um, let's make sure it's level. See how it goes. for everybody we let's see it is currently 527 we met to get the boat at 130 it's been four hours mind you we drove six hours to get here and if you look behind us there's no boat that's because if you can see me right now I am currently fighting my power steering pump and I'm you sure you guys can hear it too you hear me now but the, uh, let's see, let's do a little recap. So, we got the boat. We got it transferred from one trailer to the other. Got it out of the water, everything set, boat leveled, up the big steep hills, but what I didn't show you is during all that time, my truck was getting very hot from just sitting and being in four low and going up and down the boat ramp. So, when we got out of the very steep hills that are down here at the Lake of the Ozarks, the truck was hurt and it, sounded fine but i was watching the temperatures and everything was climbing up to like the 240 to 250 degree range which if you know is way too high for this the transmission supposed to be at 180 engine supposed to be right at 190 and then the oil temperature is supposed to be at 200 so we were getting really hot at 240 degrees and sure enough right as we got to the top of the hill we saw a big puff of smoke and uh the truck was not happy with us so I wanted to get some speed and wind through the radiator and get things cooled down. So we got moving, things started to cool down, but then all of a sudden I started to lose my braking ability. And that is because my power steering pump also boosts my brakes. So not good. We're going on more hills down at the Ozarks with the boat behind us. I'm losing brakes. All I have is trailer brakes and I'm losing steering. So we called an audible, pulled off as soon as we could. and had to reevaluate the whole situation. Come to find out, power steering fluid had blown everywhere on the engine bay. We thought we blew a line. Um, our hitch was giving us problems on the trailer. The boat was riding at an angle too much, so we had some hot axles from braking and all that. Long story short, we have jettisoned the boat. It's currently sitting off a highway, tucked away with a note, locked up, Thanks for bearing with us. It's been a long day. Everyone here in the car, you can see him. Look at Jameson. They are tuckered out and tired, but this has been an awesome crew. Can't thank them enough for sticking with me through this, but this is part of the deal. This is the stuff that happens when you try and do the stuff that we do, and we've never done something this big. We'll check back with you guys in a bit. Well, after three hours, plus yesterday, getting the truck working again, we finally picked up our boat off the side of the highway. She's safe for now. The truck. Fingers crossed, should be good to go to take the boat back to Iowa. She is a hefty load, I'll tell you what folks, but we're in a whole new ball game now. We are the yacht club. Yachtmen. Like what we see so far. Really Let's get the 38 SS home safe and sound, ladies and gentlemen. Well, a little update for everybody. We are on the road back to Iowa. We're almost there. What, we got an hour and a half, Phil? Yes, sir, We got Phil up front driving. <laughs> George is being a bum over here on his headphones. And uh, Maggie and the dog are sleeping. But we got behind us the big girl back there. She's been riding really nice. Wow, what a weekend. It has been pretty wild, been a roller coaster. We've had a lot of setbacks, but we're finally trucking back to our home base and hopefully in 100 miles or so we are back safe and sound we can get to digging into this thing cleaning the boat and see what it becomes thanks for sticking with us and enjoy this wild ride
All right, talk to you later. So, despite all odds, we have made it back to our house back in Iowa, and the boat is safe. It's been a long weekend. It was not an easy feat to get this thing home. I mean, look, look how wide it is. Put things in perspective for you guys. Trailer is eight foot six. The boat is 11 and a half feet wide at its widest point. We are just within the limit of a lane. The truck weighed, truck and trailer and boat all together, we weighed it at a cat scale, weighed just under 26,000 pounds, which is just below the legal limit for a three quarter ton truck. One broken, blown up power steering pump later. One night of leaving the boat on the side of the road truck overheating multiple times because the fans not working properly what else surprisingly enough no issues with the trailer on the drive back 382 miles no hot hubs we had to air down some tires to help redistribute weight the 10,000 pound straps held winch stand came in the mail when we were gone but all in all huge success welcome to the next boat project of making motor moves this thing is massive i already love it phil billy is already inside tearing the whole thing apart so we can clean it from the inside out i can't wait <laughs> what was that bill i can't wait <laughs> he couldn't wait we've literally been home for 10 minutes and he's already inside ripping stuff out i mean look at this this is all stuff he's just been throwing out of the boat there's the bed up front some random ropes some random floaties the old cover. Oh boy. What is that? I mean, what is this? This is just a bag full of stuff. Oh my God. We've got our work cut out for us, but I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. As always, like and subscribe to Make a Motor Moves. Tell your friends about us and wish us luck because We've never done something this big. Also, huge shout out to White Lightning for getting us home safe. Big shout out to Lloyd Bell Dealership in Eldon, Missouri. Their service shop in the back was able to fit us in on Saturday, get a new power steering pump swapped into the truck, bleed the whole system. We even cracked a steering line that we had to have replaced. God bless those guys. I mean, they we would not have been able to make it back safely if they hadn't squeezed us into their busy schedule and let us use their shop floor. So huge shout out to Lloyd Belt in Eldon, Missouri. Awesome group of guys. But anyway, see you later guys. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the 1992 C-Ray 38 SS. And we'll see you later. Have a good one. Yeah, don't get out though. George, do a slow motion of you coming out of the water. <laughs>